Hello and welcome back to the farm. It is September and the potatoes are ready to be harvested, which we will be doing. We have a field over there and over there, which we harvested in the last episode, which I want to plow. So we need to buy a plow and we need to deal with the potatoes. Now I've done some research with the for the potatoes um, and it's got to be a bit tricky. We have two options. One is going to be using a tractor and a potato harvester or we can lease this thing. This thing is absolutely ginormous and it is expensive. <laughs> it is twice as expensive to rent. So yeah, this thing is way too expensive to lease. Well, we could lease it, but I don't think we would make much money back, if any. Now, our next option would be in here, if we go into potato technology, we would need this right here, which isn't too bad to lease, and then we would need one of these. They're working with is not great, not by a long shot, <laughs> but the issue is they require 200 horsepower to operate and we have a tractor with 125. So we would even need to lease, I think a medium tractor actually, in order to be able to, yep, a medium tractor in order to be able to pull this thing. And I would of course go with the cheapest option available if we can. So I think that is what we are going to do. We also need a plow, as I said. Um, now this thing I probably want to buy and not lease. This has a 3.5 meter working width. This has a 2.5 for just $9,000 extra. Oh yeah, I changed uh, the currency to dollars because I realized that this place that we're in, the map is actually located in the US. So it only makes sense that we go with the uh, dollar currency. <laughs> um, oh, I just realized this requires 220 horsepower. This requires 160. We should be able to handle this one. Uh, I'm going to buy this. Just going to go ahead and buy it just like that. A thing that I think we will do actually is as we won't be using the harvester because I just, uh, I think it's just going to be too expensive to lease the actual harvester. So what we'll do is we'll get the plow on this tractor and we'll get a worker to start plowing the fields and then we will be taking another tractor the one that we lease and harvesting the potatoes another thing that i realize is that we will have to sell our wheat in the trailer because we will have we will need to store our potatoes somewhere i don't want to sell them if the price isn't good because i do want something from this so yeah We'll get this on and we can actually, we can actually use the worker drive feature where I can set it to go to a location. Whoops. <laughs> so if I jump out, open the map here, go here and I select my tractor, create job, go to, and then say, right. Yeah, that works fine. Go ahead. Boom. And now I can go ahead and lease the stuff that we need. So I need a medium tractor. Uh, this is probably going to be the least expensive one. The, the Matt Ferguson F MF367. What we do need though, what is important that we get is narrow tires because these won't destroy the crops when we drive over them. So we'll lease that. This is going to be expensive, by the way. <laughs> Potato technology. And then this is basically what will be removing the top. And then one of these. Now, this thing is just a little bit heavier than this other than that. They're exactly the same. So we'll go ahead and we'll lease this. So that pretty much cost us, I believe, around... Um... Wait a minute, how do you attach that? It looks like this thing can attach from both the... F oh, okay, that's weird. Uh, I'll attach it from the front here. Here we go. And apparently the worker got blocked by something. Great. Anyways, we'll attach this. Probably the other traffic <laughs> on the other side when it had to turn. We'll turn this and hopefully this setup should be able to run both machines at the same time. 
That is kind of the point of this. There we go. Attach this. And... We're going back to the farm. <laughs> Should probably... Oh wait, it doesn't have... Oh, for some reason my indicators don't work. Nor the working lights. Okay. That's fine. Look at this ridiculous size. <laughs> Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Oh wait, the lights do work on this thing. Okay, that's fine. Now all of this is leased. I think we got to a total of sixteen thousand dollars, which is not too bad, considering we would have to pay thirty in total for the uh, for the full machine. So I think this is okay. Hopefully, if we make a profit from this, but if not, we get the experience, so it's fine. And there is my plowing tracker. I think I will actually set it to the other field first. Because then I have some working room here. Because this is a huge, huge setup. So I'll put that there. And I'll get this tractor to work in the other field with a worker. We'll hire someone to do the other field. Get to work. Get out. Hey. Okay. What? <laughs> um. Hmm. Well then. There we go. Good. It's doing it. Okay, then I can swap to this tractor. And this is gonna be a lot of stuff to control at once. So I'm gonna go outside for this. And right now I'm controlling the back thing, which we need to unfold. Alright. There we go. And I think that is all we need to do, other than lower it, of course, and turn it on. Don't know if turning it on automatically lowers it. No. Okay. There we go. Swap to the front thing. Lower that. And I think I can do control B to turn on all the machinery. I can indeed. Oh boy. Yeah, I was afraid of this, but we are moving. We're gonna move slow with this tractor. But I think it's all right. <laughs> we don't really have a hill here. So we should be good. I don't think we'll get any potatoes this... Oh, we are. Sweet. We are harvesting potatoes. We're harvesting tater tots. This is great. And I'm already off a little bit here. <laughs> all right. We are harvesting our potatoes. This is great. And the tractor is working in that field. As soon as it's done, I'll set it to work in the other one. But yeah, I actually don't think that the speed of this is going to be a problem. In fact, it's going to make it easier for me to control. Alright. And it there. Turn around to the other side. I think that is going to be the easiest way of maneuvering this monster of a beast. Here we go. I'm going inside view for this. Actually, I'll just make sure that everything is working. <laughs> there we go. It is very hard to see where to go here, but I, I'm trying. I'm always trying to find something on the screen to go for. And I think I have something. The weeds are not making this easier, but that's fine. We are getting potatoes! Hopefully we'll be able to sell these at a pretty good price and we'll profit. But even if we don't profit, this is still a fun experience and a thing to do. I've never farmed potatoes in Farming Simulator before. So trying this is actually really, really fun. I farm potatoes in real life, believe it or not. But not like this. <laughs> The way I do it is with a good old shovel and body muscle. Alright, and 
I'm glad I didn't put the worker to work in this field because now I can turn around like this. And again, the speed is not bad at all. I'm actually happy it's slower. Alright, I will continue this. You enjoy the time lapse and I'll be back once we have harvested this whole field. Let's get it done. All right, quick update. <laughs> We're full. <laughs> Didn't even, even realize because I turned the heart off for the time lapse. That's cool. So we have, wow. Are we gonna get like 20,000 liters? I think we might. All right, I'm gonna have to place this here. And I think what is happening here is you can see where there's weeds and where there's none. Um, I think I need to go over these places again with the wheat, at least with the, uh, with the harvest only, because there's still potatoes here. Where there's no weeds is where we've harvested pretty much, but so far we're doing a pretty good job. I just need to put that out. Alright. And then I need to get my tractor, and it is done in that field. That is perfect. I'll leave the plow here, because otherwise it's got to get in the way in the other field. Right, our wheat. I think we will have to sell the wheat, because I have nowhere to store it. I really want to store these potatoes, in fact, so... Yeah. We're just gonna sell the wheat, I think. Whoop. Bonk. There we go. Now... One thing I'm thinking as well. It looks like we're about halfway done with the field. I'm thinking of installing the extension that comes with this trailer, or that we can add to this trailer, but let us first have a look at the wheat prices. Um, who has the best price right now? Jason's Farmer Market. Alright. Where is that located? I don't think we've been there before. Up here. Okay. Well, that's pretty much well, all the way up. Let's go. So we're gonna get a little bit of money. Not a whole lot. But we'll get a little bit for the wheat. I think it is next to that white house up there we need to turn. No, wait. After that, I think. Pull up the GPS here. Right, it is... Is it by this house? I think it is by this house, actually. Yep. It is. Hmm. Not bad. And then follow the road and take a right, and we're there. And I'll wait with setting this tractor to uh, plow the other field until we're done. All right, here we are. I think we need to go up here, maybe? I'm not quite sure. Oh, I could have turned in here as well. <laughs> Guess that would have worked too. I also think this tractor needs a service. <laughs> needs a little bit of service, I think. But here we are. Let's unload. And I think we can watch it here. Yep. Don't know how much we'll get for this. 3,225 liters, I believe. $1,255. Hmm, not bad. Nope, and then the wage payment. <laughs> Alright, I'll take this tractor back. Well, now I need to think. When we get back home to the farm, 
what month is good for the potatoes because we will need to harvest the corn as well pretty soon and I want to store that. I definitely want to store the potatoes because I think they can give quite a lot. Plus we have a lot of it. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to buy a second trailer for the corn. <laughs> that would be a little bit ridiculous, owning two trailers. It's, it's just because we don't have a silo, otherwise I couldn't put the... Okay, I don't think I can put potatoes in the... In the silo. But at least I could put the corn in the silo, right? But a silo is like 125,000, which is... Eh, not good. Here we are. Try not to drive on the crop. And get the trailer as close as possible. Maybe not close enough. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All them tater tots. That's a lot of potatoes. And I didn't add the extension. <laughs> I don't think I can do it while there's still something in there. So that's a bit of an issue. Otherwise, we'll just, we'll just have to dump them on the ground somewhere. Um, because, well, the trailer is 80% full. I guess, I guess we could sell some of them now, but that wouldn't be ideal. I'll put the tractor and the trailer away for now. Um, I forgot to put the extension on. Whoops. But I'll put the tractor here for now. And then, we will continue the potato harvesting. Which honestly shouldn't take that much longer. Just have to go up and down a few more times. And then I can, well, just run through with the house on the remaining weeds. Which should make this go a little bit faster as well. No more talking. I'll continue the time lapse. I'll leave the hut on this time so I can actually see. And yeah. Let's finish this. Alright, it is almost full again. We're just missing a few bits here and there. So I think what I'm gonna try and do... I'm gonna try and put the extension on. But I'm gonna make sure that I save the game first. Just before I do it. <laughs> because losing 10,000 liters... Would be bad. I would imagine you can add it on. Even though there's potatoes in it. In real life at least. But, we'll see. I do think, though, that if we add it, we will have enough space for the remaining potatoes, which would be excellent. And then, I guess I'll just have to get another trailer for the corn harvest. Um, yeah, not much to do there. I mean, a trailer isn't too expensive, so we could possibly buy one, use it, use it to store it, and then sell the other trailer later when we don't need it anymore, that is an option. All right, I'm gonna have to drive the trailer right up to this thing and I'll save the game first because I don't wanna take any risks. All right, game saved. Let's take a look. Customize. Uh, configuration extension. So that would add, that would get it from 12 1,000 liters to 22,000 liters. Has it? Yes! There's still potatoes in here. Beautiful. All right. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm driving off without the trailer now. There we go. Yep, still has 10,000 liters. Sweet. All right. I think we might just have enough room to, have, to hold the whole potato harvest. This trailer load is kind of heavy for this tractor. Hmm. 
I really hope this thing doesn't have to go up some hills in order to be sold, because otherwise <laughs> we might get into some trouble using this tractor for that. Oh yeah, a thing I don't even think I have uh, I have mentioned in the last episode is that the money that we started off with, we started off with half a million, so 500,000. 200 of those thousand is actually a loan from the bank. So every midnight, a small portion of our money, loan interest, gets deducted from our bank account, which is an expense every midnight, basically. So the sooner we can pay back that loan, the better. 20,000 liters of potatoes. Well, almost 20,000. It will be once we're done here. <laughs> I'm gonna put the trailer right over here. Oh yeah, this load is heavy for this poor tractor. <laughs> oh dear, poor New Holland. I'll finish off here. Shouldn't be too long now. Final piece. Done! And I think... <laughs> I think we have 200 liters or so too much. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's get it in the trailer. If we have any leftover, I'll just have to put it next to the barn over there. On the ground or something. Yep. Almost 1600. I don't know if I can tell it to... Yeah, I can't just force it to unload, which I think I'll just have to do here on the grass. <laughs> Not ideal, but... Uh, I don't really have other options, I'm afraid. There we go. We might have... to do that. Uh... When we do the corn harvest. Because... Yeah, we need we need the trailer for that. Again, unless we buy one and then sell that later. I don't know. We'll see. But that is the potato field... Finished. Not bad at all. Let's get this back. And yes, I'm driving it back because I leased this. $16,000 to lease this setup. I'm gonna drive it. <laughs> I'm driving this back. Normally I would just return it immediately, but I'm driving this back. This has been a good setup, actually. I'm glad, you know, I'm glad there were weeds in that field. Because otherwise I would not have been able to see where I was going with this thing. I would have had to look at the map constantly. Alright, Matthew Ferguson, pretty good tractor. It was a little under horsepower, but it was alright. Yeah, let's check the, um, let's check the map. Harvest it. Sweet. So let's go ahead and return it. There we go. Perfect. And let's put this under a roof. If possible, two twenty two and a half thousand twenty two thousand and five hundred liters of potatoes. Not bad. Let's take a look at the price. I'll put the trailer... Uh, I'll keep the tractor attached, actually. Well, actually, no. We will need the... Uh, <laughs> we'll need it. Um, what is a good time to sell potatoes? So we are in September. January, February-ish is going to be a good time. So in a couple of months. Now, my plan for the fields... Here are my plans for the fields. Um, I want... Well, we need to harvest this probably in the next episode as well. What I would like to do, ideally, is to plow these two... All, get all these three fields plowed right here. And then sow oil seed radish. And the reason for that... Is because we can still sow it all the way up to... Where is it? Yeah, all the way up to October. Which is fine, and then we can cultivate it in the ground around March, April-ish, probably. And then we can sow the crop that we want, because that 
uh, cultivating the old radish in the ground is going to give us uh, one stage of fertilizer, which is going to be great. So that, so we have a little bit of a deadline. I'm going to actually really quickly attach the plow here, and I don't actually know if these two fields require plowing. I disable. Yep, these two fields require plowing. So does the cornfield. So that's gonna be a lot of work harvesting. Um, I want to mulch the uh, what's it called, the cornfield as well. Oh boy, that's a lot of jobs all of a sudden. <laughs> um, right, I think I'm gonna try and plow this field real quick. It shouldn't take that long. We really need to get it done, especially while we still have some daylight left. And I'm missing pieces. Great. Especially, yeah, especially while we still have some daylight left, so I'll do that real quickly. And then in the next episode, this tractor can plow the potato field while we harvest the corn. I think that's a plan. The worker is so much better at this <laughs> than I am. <laughs> it doesn't miss as many pieces, that's for sure. Let's actually see how long it takes. Usually I don't like plowing because I feel like it takes so long. I've been recording for 50 minutes-ish. Let's see how long this actually takes me. I'll do this time-lapse from within the cabin this time. All right, so pretty much done. Took about seven minutes. Not too bad, actually. I did miss a few pieces, which I now have to go back and fix. But all in all, not too bad. And finished. And it has gotten pretty late. I have to turn on the lights there at the end. <laughs> all right, now where are we gonna store this plow? We will be using it very soon, so I think I'll just leave it in here, actually, on the tractor. There we go. Okay, turn off the lights, engine, and we're done for the day. Thank you very much for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed. In the next episode, we will be harvesting the corn, plowing this, and maybe even seeding the oil seed radish. We shall see. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.